Ever since India signed a $5 billion deal with Russia to purchase five units of the S-400 air defense missile system, the White House under the Trump administration and now also under Joe Biden has discussed the possibilities of invoking the CATSA Act against India. James O'Brien has been nominated by Joe Biden to be the next coordinator for sanctions policy at the White House. And increasingly, the consensus that is now emerging at the White House is that the United States will try to discourage India from going ahead with the acquisition of the Russian-made S-400 air defense missile system. But it will do so not through sanctions, but by trying to strike a balance, by weighing in different geostrategic considerations. America's NATO ally Turkey had been slapped with sanctions under the Katsa Act for purchasing the S-400 missile system from Russia. But Joe Biden's nominee, James O'Brien, insists that India's case is different. The administration is now discouraging India from proceeding with the acquisition of the Russian equipment. And there are important geostrategic considerations, particularly with the relationship to China. So I think we have to look at what the balance is. That's what James O'Brien has said. The Biden administration is yet to clarify on whether Katsa will be invoked against India. Countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act is a tough law that was passed in 2017 to impose sanctions on countries that purchase large-scale Russian weapons. But increasingly, there are more voices in Washington that are demanding that India should be given a waiver from the Katsa Act. Republican Senator Todd Young has slightly advocated for India to be given a sanctions waiver. Describing Turkey as a NATO ally that is breaking away from its legacy defense procurements, while on the other hand, India has a legacy defense relationship with Russia. Also, India's role in the Quad is something that the United States will not be able to overlook easily. Todd Young has now said, and I quote, India is a vital ally in a competition against China, and thus I believe we should resist taking any action that might drive them away from the U.S. and the Quad. I am therefore strongly supportive of waiving Katsa sanctions against India, given our shared foreign policy interests. But interestingly, the first of the S-400 air defense system is now being deployed in India. And the second one is expected to be deployed in March. While the rest of the three S-400 air defense missile systems will be delivered by September. India has made it quite clear that the acquisition of the S-400 missile system has been done in keeping with India's independent defense interests. Now, for more updates on this story, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, is now joining us live from New Delhi. Sidhan, thanks for joining us. Now, it seems that the U.S. will try to discourage India from acquiring the Russian-made S-400 air defense missile system. Sanctions are not on the table. So what will be India's strategy to strike a balance between its ties with Russia and the United States? Well, India has repeatedly said that it's strategic autonomy that is uh, the primary focus and India will uh, take any uh, decision relating to defence deal depending on its uh, strategic needs and, of course, uh, uh, its priorities, whether it's Washington or Moscow. Moscow, of course, has been a long-standing partner of New Delhi in terms of defence. It has been supplying uh, defence uh, uh, since many, many decades. Uh, uh, Soviet uh, Russia was uh, a, a very close partner of, of India in terms of defence and that uh, legacy has continued uh, under uh, under Putin's Putin's Russia and of course when it comes to Washington there are new alliances India has been increasingly engaging with Washington particularly when it comes to uh, defense needs so when it comes to both countries India is balancing and has made it clear that uh, in the past as well that it will go forward with uh, the S-400 deal and we saw uh, that the deliveries have now started. Uh, of course Washington is mum regarding uh, the sanctions, whether uh, the CATSA sanctions will uh, be applied to New Delhi or not, but it looks like that there will be an exception because any sanction by Washington on New Delhi will be a big strategic mistake uh, uh, from the United States given India has been uh, a close ally of US and also a key quad partner. Right, Sidhan, thanks for those inputs. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.